Hi everybody, I just wanted to come to you with a video about my natural hair journey so far. Um, it will be two years for me in about two weeks. Uh, I think it was like the 23rd or 22nd I decided to cut my hair. 20, 20, 22nd or 23rd of July of 2011 that I decided to cut my hair one day. So, like I said, it'll be two years and about a, at the end of the month, mostly. Um, I Over the last two years, I've trimmed my hair a lot. And I've also, I also got my hair highlighted last year. So, all that is practically grown out now. So, I did have a lot of growth for the last two years, at least from my standpoint and what I've been doing with my hair, I've had a lot of growth. Um, I know others will look at other people like India, my natural sisters, like the Monroe sisters or Miss Tammy or anybody like that who has like this super, super hair growth and their hair just grows like, or like Taryn, she's like a mutant. She, her hair grows like, her hair just seems like it grows at some like miraculous rate. But the thing is with natural hair, it's your hair. It's going to be your rate. It's going to be dependent on your genetics. It's going to be dependent on your water intake, the way you eat. And if you're stressing or not, it's going to depend on all these factors. Blending them together is going to determine how fast your hair grows. It's going to determine if you're stressing, if you're not taking care of your hair. It's going to determine if you retain your hair. Because your hair is going to start breaking off if you're not taking care of it. If your hair is dry, it's going to break off. If your hair is like, it's just so many things that can add up and determine whose hair is going to do better than the next person's hair. And the thing I've learned over the last two years is that I can't base my hair expectations on what other people's hair is doing. I have to worry about what Kamiko's hair is doing, and that is what I'm doing now. Like, you can see that the front, I'll just show you some of my hair, like how long it is now compared to, the front comes way down there. I can't really do the back, but the back actually goes down my back. It comes, I can't, I can't really show you that part right now. But anyway, the back and the front are my long areas on my head. The sides and the top, it like, I think it broke off a lot from the highlights I had in my hair and me from not, mainly for me not really taking care of my hair the way I was taking care of it in the first year. The first year I was doing everything that the natural hair gurus and everything everybody else told you you had to do with your hair, co-washing it and doing all this stuff. And this last year with the wedding and with work and just stress in general, I just was like, whatever. It's going to grow if it grows. If it's not, and not, I, I really didn't care. This year, I was just focused on more, more so making sure that my life was right and making sure that this wedding was coming together, which it did. It did come together, but I decided now, since I actually had my hair blown out and I got a trim, like a slight trim, it's not like... Well, I mean, she I, I think she trimmed a lot. Not really a lot, but at least to me, she trimmed a decent amount of hair off because I had a lot of split ends and I had a lot of fairy knots. But that's all things to learn from from now that I need to take better care of my hair. And that means with my hair type, I don't really do the typing thing, but I would say like I have a mix of four. There's more so four areas on my head and there's like three there's like the three C's in the back and maybe in the front it's like a three two, a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I decided that I was going to put myself on a protective style challenge because that's one of the things that I have been slacking on over the last two years. I don't really protective style at all. Um, usually I just wear like puffs. I wear just like afros. I have blown out my hair myself twice over maybe three times over the last th two years. Um, I do a lot of twist styles. I do a lot of things like that. And I'm seeing now if I want my hair to retain the length that I want it to retain, that I actually need to do more protective styling. And the thing is with my job, like I would do like box braids. I would do like the, the twists and all that stuff. But it's once you have to put it up because we can't, I can't have my hair. My hair can't touch my collar at work. So I had to have either having like buns in the back or buns on top all the time. And I would like drive around in my patrol car and my bun is like hitting the ceiling. And then you get out of the car, your bun hits 
the door and then it's all like wopsided. And if you put it in the back, then your head is all like jacked up for 12 hours. 12 hours of having your head all pushed up like that is not comfortable. So I know some people were like, why'd you take your hair out, your braids out so quickly? That is why, because it just wasn't a logical choice for me to have in my hair, especially with my work, the stuff that I do. So what I've decided to do is once the heat free hairs, Waitlist opens up for the either for curls or for kinks. I don't really care. I just want some some weave in my hair that looks similar to my hair. And the thing with my hair is in the front, it's it's more of that like wavy for curls like action, but on the sides it's more of that like for cur for kinks action. So it's just a matter of, of whichever one opens up first is whichever one I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna get it installed and I'm gonna wear it maybe like three months at a time. Take it out and ah. let my hair breathe for like a couple, like two weeks, and then get it redid for this entire, the rest of the, from July of this time, what is it today? Today is July 6th. From July 6th of this year to July 6th, the next year, I plan on doing like nothing but protective styles. You probably won't see my hair out that much, and if you do, it'll probably just be like for short periods of time just to give my hair a rest and a break. Um, The last time, whenever I was growing my hair out before... Well, I wasn't even really growing it out before. I was just, like, weaving it up because I like weaves and I like the versatility that it, that you can get with weave. Um, my hair was growing. My hair was, like, super thick and it was super long before um, I decided to actually go natural. So, I figured with me weaving it up again and taking care of it like I did take care of it before, that my hair is going to retain a lot of length. It's going to be in a better condition than what it was in, well, than what it is in now. Even though it isn't in the worst of conditions, it's not the best. It's not the best that, I mean, that I expected for myself. I expect a whole lot better because that's just my thoughts. I always think the best for myself, usually. But, yeah, so I'm going to get me some weave and... Whenever I do get weaves, that's the only thing. People make a mistake and think that just because you have a weave that you don't have to take care of the hair underneath your hair. That's where y'all are wrong at. You Like, when I get weaves, you can ask anybody that knows me and knows how I was whenever I got, like, I have, would rock, rock, like, the 22, 20-inch 20 weaves and all this stuff. I would wash my hair every week. I would condition my hair every week with the weave in my head. I will put the conditioner in there and, like, run it through my hair, run it through the braids underneath and stuff. And you put, like, leave-ins and you would spray your hair and you would do all the things you need to do that you would normally do for your hair when it wasn't in a weave. That's what you have. You have to do this with this hair. If you want your hair to, to flourish and to be looking like something, once you take this hair out, you have to still take care of it. And that's what I plan on doing. So hopefully by next year, I'll probably do like lymph check videos. I haven't really done those because I don't really feel the need to do them. And it's always awkward trying to find somebody. Well, I mean, my husband's here, but... I mean, he's not around all the time whenever I want to make videos to pull my hair and show you where it is and in the back, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing a protective style challenge for the next year. I'm going to see how my hair is in comparison to this. I'm going to get another blowout and another flat iron ironing in a year to see the difference. So, thanks for watching, guys, and... I appreciate, okay, yeah, I forgot to mention this. I appreciate everybody's been watching the videos, everybody that's, like, thumbs up in the videos, making comments, and subscribing to my channel. It really makes me feel good about the things that I'm doing. And this, this right here is my stress reliever. Making YouTube videos, make doing makeup, and all this other stuff, this is my stress reliever. So, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all y'all's support, support in the things that I, I want to put out there. So... All in all, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.